Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So today we're gonna be checking out what gift we get from Star Souls Advent Calendar for day 11. Up until now we've gotten some pretty good gifts so I am excited and I'm also gonna talk about some other things that have been on my mind lately. So as always I hope you enjoy the video and if you do make sure to subscribe it really means a lot and make sure to stick around and check out the 500 star coin giveaways that I'm hosting. I think in total there's like eight more chances so you have eight chances to win 500 star coins which is pretty nice so make sure to check them out but anyway let's just get into it. I always find it so funny when it's the time to like check out the advent calendar gifts and I always go on my Australian account and people are always so confused. Also, I do apologize for being late today. Today I'm gonna be like more than three hours late but I was just kind of tired so I went to sleep because why not and I was also doing some schoolwork which was very fun i must say but anyway we're gonna go check out what gift we get for day 11 now as i said before and in the previous videos the gifts that we've gotten so far have been pretty good we've gotten almost the whole outfit for our player character no tack as of yet and i think for the player character the only thing we didn't get yet is an accessory and some sort of shoe option but i think the outfit is so cute so anyway let's just go ahead and open the gift and we got 500 horse xp um yeah i i don't really know how to feel about this i mean it's not the worst thing but at the same time that's like two races that you can do in under five minutes so it's kind of like i would have appreciated it more if they were giving us like a thousand maybe two thousand horse xp because even for some like birthday races that we get during like their birthday festivities i think you get like 900 horse xp per race but i think you can only do it once a day but still you know 900 or is it 800 is it more or less? I'm not really sure because I don't usually do them. I mean, anytime it comes around, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do them now. I want to max out my horses and then I do it like two days in a row and then I just don't even log on, which is very fun. And while we're on the topic of not logging on, to be completely honest, I'm not really enjoying the winter festival as much as I thought I would. Don't get me wrong, I love the snow and I do like the winter village, but with the weird filter, it's definitely not my favorite. Even when you do the bug that like removes the purple filter in the winter village, it still doesn't look completely the same as it used to and it still has like weird purple coloring and I just don't enjoy being there. In Jorvik though, when you do the glitch, I think it looks so beautiful, so magical and I love it. One thing that I'm really confused about this year is the blizzards. Again, SSO didn't describe the activity at all, the, like they didn't say what you have to do, they didn't say if we get some like free tag from it this year, so I'm just so confused. They did the same thing with the blizzards last year and I was literally the only person trying to understand what to do with them and I mean I watched the videos that I made about you know how the blizzards work, from when to when they appear in SSO because I don't believe SSO actually said the exact hours that blizzards will be in the game this year which is kind of confusing i think they said that they would be in the game every other hour or so but i literally don't see them last year they were in the game from i think like 10 from 8 to 10 in the morning and then from like 5 or 4 to 7 at night something like that and i literally log on during those hours and most of the time i don't see them i think i've done like three blizzards as of now and i mean i actually find the blizzards to be pretty enjoyable i know it's the same thing over and over again but i don't know i think it's kind of fun but yeah it's just the timing and everything is very confusing and just in general i'm just really not enjoying the festivities as much as i thought i would for the most part when you know sso comes out with an event where you have to grind something where you have to like get some sort of currency i do it because the rewards are pretty good especially if the reward is a free pet i love free pets so i always you know grind and get enough 
of whatever currency I need to get the pet, be it, you know, the spring tokens, autumn tokens, summer tokens, winter tokens, whatever. But no, there's no free pets. I mean, there are going to be three free pets during the winter festival, but one of them we're going to get from the advent calendar. One of them is not really a Christmas winter pet that you can get for free. It's just a new cat that you can get in the lifetime shop. And then one we're going to get in a quest so it's kind of like i mean i love that we're gonna get them and you know we're gonna get them in a really easy way but at the same time there's really no motivation for me to do things like the winter magic i mean yes the winter village does look a little bad with the purple filter but i'm just gonna do the glitch and if anything else i'm gonna download some reshade presents the rewards for the winter magic like the winter magic crystal progression system or however it's called are honestly laughable i can't remember exactly what you get but i just know some of the rewards are literally like one apple congrats you spent one hour running in circles around the winter village you get an apple like Star Civil, I just, I, I cannot. And I really don't think they will lower the amount of, you know, the winter magic that you need, which is pretty annoying. For now, I think you get like 500 winter magic for about an hour of work, which is honestly insane. Currently, you need to spend so much time in order to complete this thing. Honestly, hats off to everyone that's already done it and that will do it because I honestly don't think I will. I just don't think it's really worth my time. And if the activities of the Winter Magic Collection were more fun, I would definitely have more motivation. But again, there is ice carving, which you do in like two minutes because you can only do it once. And even that, like, it's not the most enjoyable activity. And then the only thing that's left is just collecting snowflakes, be it the ones that are just scattered through the village or, you know, just running through snow piles and then, you know, getting them from there. Like, I just feel like there's not much and also with the winter tokens i feel like i i think they only added two new outfits that you can buy with the winter tokens this year all of the other ones are old so i don't even have the like the motivation to do the winter festivities you know the ones that rotate every hour because i can practically already buy everything i mean not really because i have around 90 winter tokens but i just know that if i like grind for i don't know three days i'm gonna have enough so i just feel like i don't know i think they went a little you know wrongly about this whole event I mean, I wouldn't really know because I don't play that much right now, but I just cannot imagine that, you know, even most people will complete the winter magic because I feel like there's a very specific type of, you know, player base that can do it. I think it takes you around 30 hours to complete, which is insane. Like, I wouldn't want to be doing the winter magic, like, progression, just running around winter village for one hour every day on top of completing all of the other winter festivities, just, you know, the regular winter festivities, all of the races, I feel like that still takes some time. The races probably under 10 minutes, but then all of the winter festivities, let's say you log on, you know, once every three hours, and I don't know, let's say that, let's say that even that takes you like 40 minutes, and then the blizzard, that's also like let's say 20 minutes so that's over two hours of sso each day that's just hmm that's a lot if you have you know a job school or just a life outside of the game and i think it's a lot for sso to expect us specifically for you know the winter magic to spend so much time on it and the rewards aren't even good as i said the rewards are one outfit set which does look nice but other than that, it's like minuscule amount of, I think, horse and character XP. And I think also like small amounts of Jorvik shillings and apples. Like, well, I just, I, I cannot. So yeah, I've just been thinking, you know, for the past few days that I'm not really enjoying the festival. I don't really have the motivation to even do the winter festivities, which is something that hasn't happened in quite a while. I always really enjoyed the winter festival. I absolutely adore the snow, 
but I don't know, I just feel like there's not actually that much to do or something to strive for, like, you know, a really beautiful outfit set or a couple that you can buy with the winter tokens or a few certain pets that you can get, you know, from winter tokens or the winter magic progression, there's just nothing really. I just feel a little discouraged to even log on to be honest, like I just log on to record, but I think I will log on now because I really want to see if there's gonna be a blizzard. But anyway, what do you think about the gift that we get from Star Sibyl's Advent Calendar on day 11? Are you enjoying the event? Are you like, just let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed as always, and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye.